everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I have a very special guest with me, my mom. She traveled all the way from Poland to visit me and I'm so lucky to have her here even for a few moments. I really wanted to take this opportunity and do a video tutorial with her and to show you how you can look younger with makeup. Makeup can really do wonders even on more mature skin and with the right application and with the right products you can really take years off your face. So in this tutorial I'm gonna walk you step by step on how to apply makeup on more mature skin and I'm also going to share all my secrets and tips on how makeup can make you look younger as well as all the don'ts that are aging you. This is something you can do on yourself, on your mom, on your grandma, so I really hope that you're gonna find this video helpful. I'm very excited to get started, so let's just jump right in. The first thing I like to do is to tone the skin and prepare it for makeup application. I'm using Caudalie's Beauty Elixir, which provides an instant boost of radiance. I use it for all my clients. With mature skin, you want to really make sure that the skin is extremely hydrated before you put any makeup on. Use a moisturizer that offers instant anti-aging and skin illuminating benefits. I'm using Shadow Tilbury's Magic Cream because I really like how it instantly plumps the skin, making it look very hydrated and luminous. I'm following with an eye cream to keep the eye area as smooth as possible using gentle tapping motions. And then I'm following with Caudalie's Tinted Lip Balm to find any dryness, dullness or uneven lip texture. Allow your skin to absorb the products for a minute or two before reaching for foundation. Heavy makeup is a one-way ticket to looking older than you actually are. A foundation that's too thick will settle into fine lines and sap the luminosity from your skin. To prevent this, I recommend choosing a sheer foundation or a tinted moisturizer with light reflecting formulas and serum benefits. Don't be afraid of sheen. Younger skin means illuminated skin. I like to add sheen on more mature skin by using It Cosmetics CC Cream. It helps your complexion look very youthful and very rested. I'm going to link it down below with all the products used in this tutorial. Another mistake mature women make is choosing foundation that's too light. This will only make them look very pale and ghosty. Instead, go for gold tones that will neutralize redness Counter attack the grey pallor and make you look healthier and younger. Yellow warms up the skin and the warmer your skin looks, the younger it looks. End of story. Because problems like fine under eye lines and dark circles become pronounced with age, it can be very tempting to combat them by layering more and more product. But this may do more harm than good. Too much concealer can draw attention to lines and crepiness as piling it on just accentuates fine lines. A click pen formula that brightens, smooths and perfects your complexion with a natural looking radiant finish is your best choice for under eye area. Highlight the key areas of your face such as the bridge of the nose, the center of your forehead or right below your brow bone with the power of light reflecting formula to instantly add more dimension and youthful appearance to your face. Now I'm using Chanel's cream bronzer to further scalp and lift the skin and to add even more warmth to the skin. Nothing makes you look older than heavy powder formulas. Avoid them at all costs. That's why I always recommend my slightly older clients to stock up their makeup bags with creams, gels, liquids and basically any products that generally don't require the use of a brush and you can apply them with the fingers. This is also why I like to use cream to contour the face as opposed to the powder. Full boy brows are synonymous with youth. So if your arches are on the skimpy side, just fake the fullness by filling in sparse spots with a tinted brow gel or an eyebrow pencil. Droopy eyes can be changed by slightly arching the brows and extending them outward towards the temples. After lining the eyebrows first with Anastasia brow pencil, I'm following with Revitalash tinted brow gel that helps define, theme and condition the eyebrows. To prime the eyes, I'm using Urban Decay Primer Potion in Anti-Aging. Since I like to use rich hydrating formulas such as creams on mature skin, I'm starting with Charlotte Tilbury's Cream Eyeshadow in Bath and I'm applying it on the lid, blending it with a brush towards the crease. A neutral palette of brown, top, beige, peach or soft pinks is more flattering for mature skin. Neutrals work well on anyone, so opt for these colors as well. I'm using Tom Ford's Eye Color Quad in Cocoa Mirage as it features the perfect beige and brown neutral shades 
and the shadows blend just so effortlessly. The outer corners of the eyes fall as you get older. Apply the eyeshadow in a 45 degree angle so that the outer corners appear lifted and avoid at all costs applying an eyeshadow directly underneath the brows. Just like with the foundation, less is more, so only use a sheer layer of the matte eyeshadow and blend it well to avoid the risk of the lid getting too cakey and powdery. Another type of eyeshadow to avoid? Very shimmery or metallic finishes. Iridescent shadows, as pretty as they may be, bring out wrinkles around the eyes and can make them look uneven and patchy when they settle into the creases of the skin. It's very important to define the lash line to counteract the droopiness of the eyelid. Choose brown over black eyeliner, which can be very harsh. Deep brown still gives you all the intensity, but in a more sophisticated, subtle way. I'm drawing Shadow Tilbury's pencil in Aubrey along the upper lashes first, and then I'm smudging the liner with a brush. It's very important to keep the color diffused. You want to define the eyes with softness and blending, not strict lines. A thick, sharp liner can leave the upper lids looking heavier than they actually are. Now I'm switching to Charlotte Tilbury's Cold Eyeliner in Barbara Brown and I'm pressing the liner in between each lash along the lash line to add definition, bringing the look of lash and full lashes. Now I'm tight lining the eyes to make them look even more defined. In addition, I really like to bring out the color of my mom's natural eyes by choosing a shadow color that's the opposite of her eye color. Since my mom has green eyes, I'm adding a soft wash of purple eyeshadow on her lids. This makeup trick will not only bring the color of her eyes, but it will also make her look more awake. If you have blue eyes, wear a shade that has champagne or copper tones. And if your eyes are brown, choose golden or amber shades. Adding a light reflecting eyeshadow in the inner corners will instantly brighten up and open the eye area. Heavy eyelashes on a mature woman are not flattering, so be sure not to apply too many coats. Playing up your lower lash game can make your eyes look actually very droopy and draw attention to dark circles, so use lower mascara and eyeshadow very sparingly. I'm also applying a few natural individual lashes to open up the eyes even more. Most of us reach for powder to set makeup, but it also tends to magnify lines in the skin, aging us. Powders also prevent light reflection, so it can make your skin look too dry and dull. Use it very sparingly and mostly in the T-zone. For mature skin, I like to use Shadow Tilbury's Airbrush Flawless Finish Powder because it helps blur away lines and any imperfections for that effortless, flawless skin. I would typically use a cream blush prior to powder application as creams work better with mature skin, but my mom prefers powders for blush, so I'm using Shadow Turbulis Blush in Love Glow to instantly add flushed complexion look to the face. Now I'm using Burberry Face Liquid Illuminator to add that dewy glow to the skin and I'm following with Charlotte Tilbury's Bar of Gold to further intensify the highlight and give that lit from within glow. Our lips naturally lose collagen and color as we age, but don't try to compensate for thinner lips by applying a darker colored lipstick. Applying dark lipsticks actually has the effect of making your lips smaller. Remember, light adds and dark diminishes. Lipstick will often bleed into fine lines around the mouth, so be sure to use a lip liner first to outline the lips and keep lipstick in place. Apply a fleshly natural liner with some pink in it first and then follow with a sheer lipstick, which is more flattering than matte. I also like to apply a little translucent powder around the lips to set the color and further prevent the lipstick from bleeding. Always choose a moisturizing or hydrating formula. A dab of gloss at the center of lower lip gives a fuller pout. Lastly, spray the face with a makeup mist to refresh and settle makeup and bring back more dewiness to the skin. So this is the final look. <laughs> I absolutely love how this came out and I had so much fun doing it with my mom. She looks absolutely stunning, very fresh and youthful. I asked her to do a few poses for you, so please give her a thumbs up as she really deserves it. And as always, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. All the products I use on my mom are linked in the scroll down bar below. 
and I really can't wait to see you in my next tutorial. Bye!